my friends. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Faith. Thank you for being here and for practicing with me today. For today's practice, we're gonna be moving through deep releasing postures for the lower body. So getting really deep into the hips, the hamstrings, the quads. This practice is great to incorporate into your daily routine, not only to increase your flexibility, but to also help you relax, unwind, and alleviate any stiffness or tension you may be feeling in the lower body. You won't need any props for this practice, but of course, if you like that additional support, feel free to have your yoga blocks nearby. Other than that, all you'll need is yourself and your yoga mat. So when you're ready, meet me on the mat and let's begin. All right, my friends, let's begin in a child's pose at the back of the mat, bringing your knees and your feet together extending the arms out in front of you, relaxing the forehead down. And once you're ready, go ahead and close your eyes. And let's begin by taking a big breath in through the nose. Open the mouth, sigh it out. And again, big breath in. Open the mouth, let it go. One more time, big breath in. And as you exhale, allow your body to let go. Softening the facial muscles. Relaxing your shoulders, your arms. And then we'll move into our spinal waves. So as you inhale, slowly round up through each vertebra of your spine. And then exhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze, sit back into child's pose. Let's do that again. Inhale, round forward. Exhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze, push it back. A few more times. Inhale, round forward. Exhale, wave it back. So just moving with the breath here. Warming up the spine. And then we'll meet back in a child's pose. Take a big breath in. Exhale out. Slowly roll yourself up to a seated position. One vertebra at a time. Once you make it there, inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, place your left hand down. Reach your right arm over to the left. Coming into a side body stretch. Think about rolling that right shoulder open, looking up towards the sky. Take a big breath in. Exhale out. Good. Now lift yourself all the way up. Place your right hand down beside you. As you inhale, start to lift your hips reaching that left arm back. So coming into a half camel, keep pushing the hips forward, opening up through the chest. And then lower the hips back down and come back into child's pose. Taking a few more rounds of our spinal waves. Inhale, round forward. Exhale, wave it back. Good, inhale, round forward. Exhale, push it back. And one more time, inhale. 
and exhale. Good, slowly roll up to seated for three, two, and one. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, place the right hand down, reach over to the right. So opening up the left side body, rolling that left shoulder open. Take a big breath in, exhale out. Good, come all the way up, place the left hand down. Inhale, start to lift the hips, reaching that right arm back. So pushing the hips forward, opening up through the chest. And then lower the hips back down. Come back to child's pose, extending the arms forward. As you inhale, slowly round yourself up. This time, dropping the hips all the way down, coming into upward facing dog. So lifting your thighs off of the mat, squeeze the shoulder blades together as you pull the heart forward. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale, press into the hands, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Pressing the heels down towards the floor. And just take a moment to walk it out. So bending one knee at a time. Adding any other movement that feels good here. You can shift the hips from side to side. Maybe do a little shake and nod of the head. Beautiful, come back to a neutral downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, big breath out. Next inhale, reach your left leg to the sky for three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee, stack the hips. So left hip stacks over your right. Keep pulling that left heel in towards your glutes. Good, now straighten the left leg, square out the hips, take a breath in. Exhale, step your left foot to the outside of your left hand, coming into a lizard pose. And just start to rock forward and back a few times, working into that left hip, the right hip flexor. And then come to find stillness, drop your right knee to the floor, and we'll hold it here. Option to stay on the hands here, or you can come down onto the forearms. So just feeling a deep stretch in the left inner thigh, in the right hip flexor. With your next breath, come up onto the hands if you're not already there. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, shift the hips back, straighten the left leg. So we're in this half split variation. Keep flexing through the left foot. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out. Couple more deep breaths here. Feeling the stretch in the back of the left leg. Take one more inhale. Exhale, bend your left knee, coming into a quad stretch. So bend your right knee, reach your left hand back to grab the foot. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, pull your right heel closer towards your glutes. Keep pushing out of the right hand, 
Opening up through the chest. And then gently release, tuck the right toes, plant the left hand down, and then heel toe your left foot towards the center of the mat. Lift your right knee off of the mat, take a breath in. Exhale, pivot over to the right, finding Skandasana at the back of the mat. Straighten the left leg, bend your right knee. So your left toes are facing up towards the sky. You can keep your hands on the floor for more support, or you can bring the hands through heart center. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out. Option to stay here, or you can set the hips all the way down. Bring your left hand to your right ankle. Reach the right arm up, take a breath in. And exhale, side bend to the left, reaching your right fingers for your left toes. So big side body stretch here. Stacking the shoulders, looking up towards the sky. Good, now lift yourself all the way up. Come back to your Skandasana. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, turn to face the back of the mat. Plant the hands, step back to downward dog. Take a moment to pedal up through the feet again. Just letting go of any tension in the legs. And then come back to a neutral downward dog. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out. Good, next inhale, reach your right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee, stack the hips. Right hip stacks over your left, pulling that right heel in towards your glutes. Now straighten the right leg, take a breath in. Exhale, step the right foot to the outside of your right hand, coming into lizard pose. Start to rock forward and back a few times. Just working into the hips. And then come to find stillness, drop your left knee to the floor and hold it here. You can stay on the hands to keep the chest lifted or you can come down onto the forearms. Stretching out that left hip flexor. Breathing here. Beautiful, now lift yourself back up if you're not already there. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, shift the hips back, straighten the right leg. Keep flexing through the right foot, feeling a deep stretch in the back of the right leg. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out. Two more breaths here. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale, bend your right knee, coming into a quad stretch. Bend your left knee, reach your right hand back to grab the foot. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, pull your left heel in towards your glutes. So keeping the chest open and broad, grounding down through that left hand. Slowly release, tuck the left toes, plant the right hand down. And then heel toe your right foot 
towards the center of the mat. Lift your left knee off of the mat, take a breath in. Exhale, pivot over to the left, find Skandasana at the top of the mat. Bend your left knee, straighten the right leg. So sinking the hips down as low as you can. Right toes are facing up towards the sky. You can keep the hands down for support or you can bring the palms together in front of your heart. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Option to stay here or you can set the hips all the way down. Bring your right hand to your left ankle. Reach your left arm to the sky, take a breath in. Exhale, side bend to the right, reaching your left hand for your right toes. So opening up through the left side body. Think about stacking the shoulders here. And then lift yourself all the way up. Come back to your Skandasana. Take a big breath in. Exhale, turn to face the top of the mat. Plant the hands, step back to downward dog. And feel free to pedal out the feet again. Letting go of any residual tension. And then come back to a neutral downward facing dog. Take a big breath in. Exhale out. Good, drop your knees to the floor and we'll meet in a seated position at the center of the mat. Coming into a butterfly. So bring the soles of the feet together. Allow your knees to fall open. Bring your hands around your ankles. As you inhale, find length in the spine. And exhale, hinge forward at the hips, pulling your chest closer towards your feet. So keeping a nice tall spine here, relaxing the forehead down. Slowly lift your chest back up. Use your hands to draw the knees together. Take your feet out a little bit wider than hip width distance apart. Bring your hands slightly behind you and then just start to shift the knees side to side. Just resetting the hips, the lower back. And then we'll meet in a comfortable cross-legged position. Option to take a Shavasana here if you'd like. And then just sit up nice and tall. Rest your hands on top of the knees and close your eyes. It's finishing off our practice by taking a few deep breaths. Just taking one last moment for you. And then once you're ready, bring the palms of the hands together in Anjali Mudra in front of your heart. Taking this opportunity to bow down towards your own heart. Expressing gratitude for yourself for your wonderful practice and for anything else that comes up for you in this moment. Thank you all so much for joining me in this practice. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future classes. If you have any recommendations or suggestions for future classes, please leave them in the comments down below and I'd love to make that happen for you. Otherwise, I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your day 
and I'll see you in the next video. May you stay well and always continue to shine.